Oh, darn it. Super loud. Those bombs are trying to create that element of excitement. There's an offense and there's a defense strategy. And bombs give a really kind of mental way to kind of start that battle. So if you go to a particular location on the map, let's say, and you bring some friends, you know, they basically set up a tank around an area. You know, we want players to be able to attack that. So they've got a reason to defend it. There's also the NPC side, which is we've got bases now with the ability to have ground turrets on them. And these can include guns, but also missiles as well. And they can be quite effective at kind of keeping players out, but we want something to counter that. Man, and a man, 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 this, this is, this is really good news, man. Um, this is really good news. Um, I'm really excited about this because first and foremost, what they're doing, they're not just bringing in, um, another ship, right? They're bringing in the A2, they're bringing in, they're bringing the key mechanic that goes along with the A2, which is the bombing mechanic. And not only that, they're also bringing in tangible gameplay um in relation to the bombing mechanic this is going to be fantastic so the underground facilities um there are missions in relation to the underground facilities there are um civilian missions there are um criminal versions of it and there's also the civil versions of it so um which is really good, which is really good. So now what, what it looks like they're going to be doing is they're going to have NPCs, um, along with the turrets, there's going to be, um, turrets that have missiles, right? No, I think they may have tanks on there. I don't know. Are they going to have tanks on there now? That'd be awesome. But what they're going to definitely going to be adding is missile turrets at um the underground facilities not only that but also at the space stations like all star and things of that nature so that is awesome i think this is really good because it's going to help with security with in terms of piracy at the space stations and it's also going to really help with um the mechanic in relation to um the underground facilities man i'm really excited about it man just getting your crew together um uh, it's going to be dangerous flying alone above this these uh facilities because they can hit you with missiles man they, they got multiple i'm sure multiple missile turrets are going to be there and it will probably be more beneficial to take a land vehicle instead even if you take a land vehicle i wonder if that's going to be still trackable for these missile turrets we're gonna have to figure that out so i like the fact that they're making it more difficult to raid these and um and it's going to require more tactics um on the side of the player i really like that it's going to really uh, encourage players to work together to think and to also um at the end of the day it makes it a lot more fun when it's a lot more tactical and meaningful um in terms of the gameplay you know what i mean so it's really exciting for me to see this um 315 is looking better than I thought it um, initially was. Uh, so I'm quite excited to see it. I'm quite excited to, to get my hands on it. You know?